The Queen of Christmas. Candace Cameron Bure has been making Christmas movies for the Hallmark Channel since 2008. Bure's first Hallmark holiday movie was 2008's Moonlight and Mistletoe. After returning for 2013's Let It Snow, the Full House alum has been featured in at least one countdown to Christmas movie every year. While she's been in nine Hallmark Christmas movies, as of 2020, Bure declared that, If I Only Had Christmas was her favorite because of my love for The Wizard of Oz during an October 2020 interview with Today. Stay tuned to know the ranking of Candace Cameron Bure's Hallmark Christmas movies. Number 9. Journey Back to Christmas, 2016. A nurse, Candace Cameron Bure as Hannah, from World War II is transported in time to 2016 and meets a man who helps her discover the bonds of family and that the true meaning of Christmas is timeless. Number 8. If I Only Had Christmas, 2020. Kansas City publicist Darcy ventures to the Emerald Educational Trust for the job of a lifetime, helping Vice President Glenn Goodman and his team find the know-how, courage, and heart to help a charity in need for Christmas. Darcy and Glenn begin to realize they have everything in common. However, Glenn's surprise revelation at the big Christmas gala just may put an end to their promising romance before it has really gotten started. Number 7. Switched for Christmas, 2017. When identical twin sisters are stuck planning their respective Christmas parties, they're convinced the grass is greener on the other side. Deciding to swap lives for the holiday dot just because they are identical does not mean these twins even like each other. The strange twin sisters get together for an obligatory pre-Christmas lunch a year after their mother's death. Both women are unhappy and frustrated with their own lives. Though not close, each is envious of the other's life. What's a twin to do but take advantage of this? And who would be the wiser? They do what any identical twins in need of new outlooks would do, they swap lives until Christmas Day, and by doing so, each woman discovers the true meaning of her life and gains a deeper perspective and appreciation for what she already had. Number 6. The Shoe Addicts Christmas, 2018. Noelle's life stopped when her boyfriend broke up with her on Christmas Eve three years ago. A handsome fireman moves in above her. She gets locked in at work in a department store all alone save the ghost of Christmas past. Number 5. A Christmas Detour, 2015. An anxious bride-to-be throws in with a broken-hearted guy and a happily married couple for an emergency ride to Nick, learning about each other and themselves along the way. Two New York City-bound travelers find themselves inextricably linked when a snowstorm reroutes them to an airport hotel in Buffalo. The pair are joined on this misadventure by an older couple named Frank and Maxine trying to get to Connecticut. As their madcap journey ensues, our foursome will find plenty of surprises in store. Number 4. Moonlight and Mistletoe, 2008. In St. Nick Crosby's old-fashioned year-round Christmas village Santaville, working as an elf on Christmas preparations all year, killed his daughter Holly's seasonal spirit. So she moved out, feeling neglected since her mother's death, to become a Boston toy firm's hardest-working sales executive. When Nick has a bad injury she returns to help out and finds Santaville outdated and near bankruptcy, despite much generous help, especially from shy Peter. She tries to save it, counting on a plan proposed by charming financial advisor Ben Richards. Number 3. Christmas Town, 2019. Lauren Gabriel leaves everything behind in Boston to embark on a new chapter in her life and career. But an unforeseen detour to the charming town of Grandin Falls has her discover unexpected new chapters of the heart and of family, helping her to embrace, once again, the magic of Christmas. Number 2. Christmas Under Wraps, 2014. With the holiday season in full swing, a woman is about to score a big promotion at her ad agency in San Francisco. Her life is unexpectedly turned upside down when she inherits a cozy inn in Alaska from her aunt. When she goes to inspect the property and meets a handsome attorney, she's surprised to find that nothing is what she expected. The small town community is full of fun and festive Christmas traditions, and she starts wondering if the inn might just be the place she belongs. And for our top one, Let It Snow, 2013. A self-defined Grinch, Stephanie begins her stay at Snow Valley Lodge immune to Christmas sentiment. But as the lodge's festive traditions provide the Christmas Stephanie never had growing up with her distant father, Stephanie finds herself enjoying every minute. To complicate her professional duties even further, the combative feelings she felt toward Brady turn into romantic ones. 
With Stephanie's newfound Christmas spirit and unexpected holiday romance, she begins to question Falcon's overhaul. As her Christmas Eve deadline approaches, she's faced with a decision, should she transform the lodge into a new winter hot spot or embrace tradition and let it snow? What do you think is the best Christmas movie for you? Comment on the comments section below. Thank you for watching.